Scripting and using plugins is a pro feature, and the pro license also gives you access to the beta builds, which I'm using here. If you are not on 1.4b5, some of this might not work, uh, but I'll be keeping it pretty general, so hopefully there won't be any issues. So first we need to open up the JavaScript editor, that's under window, JavaScript editor, or you can use the hotkey, which in my case on Windows is Alt. -F. This will open up the JavaScript editor panel, which we can make nice and big here. Now the most basic level of creating something is to use api.primitive, and then in here we can say rectangle in quotes, comma, this, layers, name, quotes, close that up. And if we hit run script, we see it generates a rectangle. And if we look at the layer name, this layer's name. So let's take a look at this. Pretty much all of the core scripting that you're gonna be doing is gonna start with an API dot. And that is just to call the cavalry specific functions. There are a couple of different segments of cavalry functions. And so like for scripts, and UI, you might do UI dot instead of API dot. Um, but for a lot of the stuff that we'll be covering, it's going to be API dot. The next part is primitive, which is the actual function. And that will let you create things like your rectangles, your ellipses, your polygons, etc. And so you'd write that here to determine what you want to create. And then the second part is what the layer will actually be called. So you can change this to anything you want and it'll automatically name your layer. And so if we get rid of this rectangle, we can see here that if we put in ellipse and then hit run script, you got yourself an ellipse. So that's the ultimate basic way of working on things, but that's only for primitives. So what if we wanna make anything else? So what you can do is api.create and then in parentheses, what is it that you want to create? So maybe we want to create an oscillator and then we will name that the oscillator name, whatever you want here. Close that up, hit run script, and we have our oscillator right there named what it's named. So API create is used to create any of the deformers or filters or basically anything that you want. For example, here we can put in a noise, change this to our noise name, run script. Now we got a noise. This also can be used to actually create the primitives. However, you are gonna to have to call it a basic shape. And so then if we run the script here, you'll see the basic shape defaults to a polygon, but it still has the name that we gave it and everything. And of course, we can run multiple commands at the same time, run script, we have our circle and our polygon. As you get started working on plugins, it's a really good idea to read through the documentation to see what is actually possible to do. If you're working in the beta builds, then you want to go to beta-docs.cavalry.scenegroup.co. And then you can go to technical information and then in scripting and the AP module, which is what we are looking at now. In here, you have all of the different commands that you can possibly do with examples of each one. So as we see here, API create can be used to create nulls, groups, spreadsheets, basic shapes, any of the deformers, basically just anything at all. So I highly recommend reading through and just seeing what, uh, what different functions actually exist. So here, get selection, right? This is, we'll be using this soon to get information about objects that you have selected. Another thing that's handy to have is down here, we have our console log. And so we can actually pull this out so as you are working on a plugin here, you'll be able to see any relevant information here if there's errors or something's not working exactly how you might expect. This video is just a quick overview on getting started and knowing where the documentation is, knowing where the editors are, things like that. Next time we're gonna get into actually interacting with object attributes and connecting things to other things and getting things. So make sure to subscribe to be notified when that video comes out.